That should be, what do you intend? God, jeez, I write like a five-year-old. The wrong then, T-H-E-N. That should be, I never wanted this to happen. I've in never. God, the number of mistakes I'm seeing in this episode is insane.
All right, so... Romy feels some regret for leading us into this trap. Get the impression that she didn't really know what it was that she was lead is leading us into. And although she has loyalty to her colonel and the other soldiers that are stationed here, she can't just sit by and watch them kill Ansel and Zealous, so she goes and lets them out of their cell with the promise that she won't, won't, they won't harm anybody as they are leaving. She has a plan, and apparently there is a back door to this place, but there is something of a catch, and we're going to have to go see what that is. Okay, apparently I didn't implement it, but I... <laughs> I remember wanting to have something happen here. If you talk to her too many times, she gets more and more frustrated with you. No question mark. <laughs> so, Romy has rejoined our party and we are being pushed into the abyss. Now, this is a an area like the the part of the prison which we were occupying before was all pretty much close to the entrance of the cave. The cave continues on deeper and deeper beyond that. And they've never been able to find an end to it. It just seems to keep on going and going. And they were so confident that there wasn't an end to it that they never even bothered guarding this side. In fact, the cells, the prison cells, were located next to the door that led off into the abyss. And in years past, back when this was more of an active prison, it would be used as a form of execution. People... Uh, I mean, some people, of course, would take pleasure in it, and those people are maybe a little bit crazy. But in general, a lot of people tend to have a certain apprehension of the idea of killing somebody, even if, if, if as a form of capital punishment. I know there's a story that is told that's probably not actually true, but in the days of firing squads, you would have, say, a number of gunners standing there and... Uh, to execute someone by a firing squad, and they distribute, they'd load one of the guns with a blank, so that every individual person in the firing squad, if they so chose to convince themselves of this, could think about themselves as having the blank, that they weren't actually the one that killed the person. That's probably not actually true, because firing a gun with a blank is quite noticeable. Um, I have seen forms of uh, execution firing squad setups where all of the guns are mounted on a rigid platform and more or less like a string is pulled by the gunner and I guess it could work in that circumstance 
But anyway, none of that's the point. It served as a way of execution because you didn't have to actually like pull a trigger or swing an axe or anything like that to execute someone. You could just push them over the other side of this door and lock it. Well, it, I guess maybe that is a really cruel way of executing somebody because they might just stay on the other side of this door and dehydrate or starve to death or something like that. Or they could trek deeper into the cave and then find themselves coming victim of whatever the fuck is deeper inside of this place. So it's a pretty cruel way of killing somebody, but at least you wouldn't have to swing a sword, you know. Now, just to make note that there is something that I did not have implemented in this version of the game. When I originally created this, I created a kind of halo of light that surrounded the characters to sort of give the impression that they were carrying a torch or something like that. Now, it wasn't a torch they were carrying. The final game was actually supposed to have um, Zealous be something of a, like a battle mage, somebody who had mostly a physical fighting character but had some magical characteristics to him and would cast a spell to illuminate the area. But it was supposed to be like a ring of light that surrounded the characters, so you wouldn't be able to see the entire environment as we're moving around. I did have that in this game for a little while, but it did feel like it messed the uh, perception of the area and made it difficult to navigate because it was supposed to be somewhat maze-like to begin with, and deeper sections of this dungeon will feel more and more confusing if you can't see the environment around you. So I ended up taking it out, although it definitely doesn't look right having this well-lit cave that we're running around that's supposed to be a dark abyss, you know. <laughs> 